Exploring the Galapagos, Charles Darwin and the Theory of Evolution by Olivia Sander, Stephanie Anderson, and Georgie Dove. The following documentary explains the life of Charles Darwin and how he changed the views of science through his theory of evolution, exploration of the Galapagos Islands, and his encounter of another world of science. Charles Darwin was born February 12, 1809 in Shrewsbury, England. Darwin came from a long line of scientists and loved nature as a child. Darwin attended Edinburgh University at age 16 and two years later in 1827, he attended Christ College in Cambridge. Darwin was interested in natural history unlike his father who was a medical doctor. He encouraged Darwin to follow in his footsteps, but Darwin was uninterested and unsettled with the sight of blood. Darwin wanted to explore his options and his father suggested that he look into becoming a parson, which is a member of the clergy. But Darwin had his mind set on something he loved to do ever since he was young, explore. As Darwin proceeded in his education at Christ College, he was mentored by a botany professor John Stevens Henslow. Henslow recommended that Darwin take a naturalist position upon the HMS Beagle, which was taking a five-year survey trip around the globe by boat and provided Darwin with an opportunity he could not turn down. Here's an excerpt from a professional's point of view. Which made him into a thinker. He was just a great naturalist. He saw things out in nature and he asked the HMS Beagle launched its voyage on December 27, 1831. Darwin observed, gathered specimens such as birds, plants, and fossils, and documented his findings. Darwin's attention was drawn to many different aspects of the Galapagos Islands, such as the rare ecosystem and incredible animal life. The islands would later influence his theory of evolution. Charles Darwin returned to England in 1836 and immediately began documenting and organizing his findings, research, and experiments. These discoveries and recordings eventually became part of Captain Fitzroy's narrative and the zoology of the voyage of the Beagle. Darwin had hands-on experiences with many specimens and explored concepts of botany, geology, and zoology. This voyage had a sufficient impact on Charles Darwin's ideas and knowledge of natural history. Darwin began to form theories out of his collected data. The Galapagos Islands are located in Ecuador, 620 miles south of the South American mainland where three ocean currents merge. The Galapagos Islands are a collection of 13 main islands and six smaller islands that are all actively volcanic. The names of the 13 major islands are Baltra, Espanola, Fernandina, Floriana, Genovesa, Isabella, Marquina, Pinta, Pinzon, San Cristobal, Santa Cruz, Santa Fe, and Santiago. The Galapagos Islands are very famous for their astounding animal species and especially for Charles Darwin's renowned theory of evolution, also known as survival of the fittest or Darwinism. In 1835, Darwin visited the Galapagos and became very intrigued by the astonishing and unique animals. He based his notorious theory of evolution off the Galapagos Islands, rare ecosystem, and incredible animal life. Each of the Galapagos Islands all have a very similar environment, however, they each have a very unique set of species. Charles Darwin believed that the reason for this was that the animals adapted to their own separate diet and microenvironment. The diverse and amazing animal species that are found on the Galapagos are extremely unique and are not found anywhere else in the world. While exploring the Galapagos Islands, Charles Darwin noted how each animal species was adapted specifically for the island it lived on. This caused Charles Darwin to theorize over the origin of the animal species that inhabited the islands. He was especially interested in the finches that lived on the islands, noticing that the similar looking finches had different beak structures according to the island on which they lived and depending on what their main source of food was. Later on, Darwin came to the conclusion that all of the different finches came from the same lineage and evolved to adjust to their habits environment. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution stated that all life descended from a common ancestor. With so many environments selecting for all kinds of traits, evolution has resulted in the countless species that have lived on Earth. This theory of evolution by natural selection was first stated in Darwin's book on the origin of species, which was written in 1859.
theory of evolution by natural selection is the process by which organisms change over time as a result of changes in heritable, physical, or behavioral traits. Natural selection acts only by taking advantage of slight successive variations. She can never take a great and sudden leap, but must advance by short and sure, though slow steps. Charles Darwin said those words, stating natural selection must be achieved in cautious steps. Darwin used natural selection, which is an act to preserve and accumulate minor advantageous genetic mutations. Natural selection just means that nature, the natural environment, is what's selecting which organisms survive long enough to reproduce. For example, new species of bug grew a pair of wings and learned how to fly. Its offspring would then inherit that ability and pass it on to their offspring. Members without disadvantage would eventually die out, leaving only the strongest members. Natural selection would eventually become the backbone of modern evolutionary studies. It is the equivalent of domestic breeding, which relies on differences between domestication and nature when breeding species. Over a few hundred years, human breeders have produced changes in the domestic animal populations by selecting pure individuals to breed. These breeders then eliminate unwanted traits from animals gradually over time, until the desired animal species is achieved. Similarly, natural selection eliminates inferior species gradually. These changes will not only help the species adapt better to its surrounding habitat, but it will help the offspring survive. Charles Darwin's theory is said to be the best sustained theory in the history of science by other scientists who are studying Darwin's theory of evolution. This theory has two main points, according to Brian Richmond, who is the curator of human origins at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Richmond said, all life on earth is connected and related to each other and this diversity of life is a product of modifications of populations by natural selection, where some traits were favored in an environment over others. In other words, this can be called the sentence with modification. Darwin once stated that if it could be demonstrated that any complex organ existed, which could not possibly have been formed by numerous successive slight modifications, my theory would absolutely break down. Darwin is saying that a very complex system is made up of many parts, and if one of those parts fails to work, the entire system would fail. Over the past 50 years, scientists have made remarkable discoveries because of Darwin's original work. Thanks to Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, we now know that there are tens of thousands of irreductibly complex systems on the cellular level. The specified complexity fills the microscopic biological world. Molecular biologist Michael Denton wrote, Although the tiniest bacterial cells are incredibly small, weighing less than 10 to the negative 12 power grams, each is in effect a veritable micro-miniaturized factory containing thousands of exquisitely designed pieces of intricate molecular machinery, made up altogether of 100,000 million atoms, far more complicated than any machinery built by man and absolutely without parallel in the non-living world. Charles Darwin passed away on April 19, 1882, in London, at his family home. Darwin suffered from a heart attack and had similar complications in the years prior. Darwin's theory resounded throughout the next century and many scientists tested to prove the theory. To this day, Darwin's theory is a highly controversial topic and has impacted science greatly.